Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the second half of April, 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates with you and leave what does not. Um, and just a reminder, I am available for personal readings. Please understand that while I do a lot of uh, Twin Flame guide guiding, I'm not just for Twin Flames. All of the uh, readings that I offer, um, which can be found in the description box below, are, are can be applied to any situation that you have in your life that you would like greater understanding uh, about. If you're not quite sure how it can apply, I encourage you to email me and give me, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it and I'll help guide you in what ways I can best be of service to you to bring more illumination to your situation. Yes? All right, so let's get into this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for the time period of April 15th to the 31st for all Cancerians. Thank you so much, Spirit. So as you notice, I have added Venus into um, the, the channeling for these messages. So there will, there could be some relationship aspects coming through. I'm adding it because love, Venus is the ruler of love and all that. And so love is very much on our minds and we all want to know about it. So why not? <laughs> all right, let's get into this. Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What's going on with you, Cancer? Okay. I did I did just see three of swords. Um and I believe it would have been up it would have been uh, reversed. I remember your reading from last the from the beginning of April was quite upsetting. Um three of swords, but it was upright, not reversed. So I feel like you still may be dealing with some of this three of swords energy in relation to things, but we'll see. All right, Cancer, one more shuffle for you, and then we will cut the deck. Cancer. Oh, Lord. Cards are jumpy today. All right. Cancer, what is in your overall energy? We have the Prince or the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So someone doesn't want to move. Someone is stagnant, um, is not budging, is feeling stubborn and digging their heels in. And I'm picking up that that could very well be you, Cancer. Um, it could be in relation to whoever we were talking about in the past, in your last reading for the beginning of April. Um... But I'm really picking up stubbornness. What I just heard is stubbornness towards seeing something, okay? But let's uh, let's get deeper into this. We have the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Wands, or in this deck it is the Prince of Wands, with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this is really interesting. Um, the Queen of Wands can talk, speak to the Divine Feminine, um, it could also speak to someone that's just really fiery and passionate. Um, now we have a lot of wands energy here, which is leading me towards, um, to thinking this is on a, this is of a spiritual nature, whatever we're talking about here. But the ace of wands in reverse is saying that you're feeling blocked from, um, a new point of view on something. You're very much standing in your queen of wands state. Um, this could be speaking to divine feminines and the page, the prince or the knight of pentacles could be speaking to the divine masculine because, um, you know, the divine masculine has been showing up as the prince of the prince or the knight of wands, I'm sorry, of pentacles for a long time. Um, and if this is a, uh, if this is a, a twin flame situation that we're talking about here in the overall energy, it's like the divine masculine is at a standstill. The whole situation is at a standstill. And I'm seeing the person that's embodying this Queen of Wands energy is also embodying this 
prince or knight of wands energy in that they are a spiritual warrior and they want to move forward and take action. But with the ace of wands in reverse, it's saying that that inspiration towards whatever action that wants to t that's wanting to be taken is not here right, right now. There is a uh, standstill when it comes to progress on a spiritual sense. And that's okay. Um, I mean, we are, Mercury is going to end its retrograde period on the 15th. We will still be experiencing some of that energy, uh, but I think that's why there's um, such stagnation. Excuse me, coffee. Hmm. I think that's why there is such a standstill when it comes to uh, this spiritual progress, this progress in the like relation to the twin flame journey, um, this progress towards whatever it is you feel passionate about, Cancer. This could be with the uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This could be you wanting to take further steps towards what it is you're trying to build materially. Because remember, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, is very methodical, will not leave any stone unturned, and because they don't want to have to go back and do things over. So if this is in relation to a material aspect, something you're trying to manifest in your life, maybe it's a business or a business opportunity or whatever, something that you're very, very passionate about, you want to move forward with it, but you feel stuck right now, mainly because you don't have the the inspiration to drive you towards that next step. That doesn't mean it's not going to come. It just means that for right now, you're at a standstill. And honestly, the you know, with how intense this retrograde has been and, and all that stuff, I would take that as a blessing. You know, just take a break for a second and let things just, let the chips fall as they're going to. Why is there such a shadow here? I don't like all this, this it, oh, it's my coffee cup. <laughs> Okay, moving forward, we have strength. Good. So stand in your power, Cancer. I understand that things are at a standstill right now, but that's all right. Draw on your strength to maintain your flame, maintain this fire for whatever it is you're trying to move forward with, and just stand still for a second with the Seven of Cups in reverse. So, okay. In some cases... Um, you know the step, you know what needs to be taken, but you just don't have the um, inspiration right now to do it. Or you are stuck in confusion and uh, about steps that need to be taken moving forward. But either way, strength is saying to you, just stand firm. Just stand still in the knowledge right now that you're still on this path. Even though things have come to a halt, just be patient is also what's going to be coming through here. Okay, stand your ground even. Tame your emotions even. Maybe your emotions are getting a little out of whack, Cancer. I mean, that, that happens easily for Cancers, but that could be what the Seven of Cups is saying to you. It's like, it's like you have all these conflicting emotions about everything, about what's going on in your situation, and to make matters worse, it's at a standstill, and now, you, now it's really throwing you, throwing you into an emotional frenzy, and it's like, nah, just relax for a second. Just, you know, draw on your strength, the strength that we all know you have to hold it together until that moment of inspiration comes and you can move forward, okay? Next, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. This is this has come up in every reading I've done so far. I'm going through the Zodiac in order of the way that they fall in the current calendar. I've started with Aries and now I'm on Cancer. And in each reading, the Six of, Six of Cups has come up in reverse. So we have a standstill with a soulmate. We have a standstill with something that is um, very emotionally fulfilling to you. Maybe even something that's connected to your childhood. Well, this is coupled with... And look at that. The King of Swords keeps coming up too. Look, this Mercury in retrograde situation is really affecting everybody. But here for you, Cancer, this is a situation in which there is a standstill because you're coming to terms with something. You're looking at something objectively and trying to get a new, uh, new um, perspective on it. Maybe you have reached a period where you have become aware of some sort of trauma from your childhood. 
that is helping you gain a new perspective. And to be quite honest, if you're resonating with this, I'm this part of the message, I'm also feeling like this is helping to stoke this fire in you. And this is what's bringing forward the Ace of Wands that we saw here underneath everything else in the deck. But it, it's blocked right now because you haven't quite come to terms with it yet. But I'm here to tell you that the King of Swords is here to help you come to terms with things. So the King of Swords is asking you to just fall back for a second and look at things from an objective point of view as much as you can to get a greater perspective on it so that you can eventually find that inspiration to move forward, okay? Next, we have the Two of Cups in reverse with the, f the Five of Swords. Um, conflict, ego, bravado, machismo, self-destructive energies. There is... Um, a situation between you and a soulmate, or maybe even between you and yourself with the Two of Cups, but y'all are in conflict right now. And as a result, things are in a standstill. Now, what this Five of Swords energy is lending to is um, the fact that we're coming out of this Mercury in retrograde. So I'm really feeling like so there, may, there may have been th some things that have gone down between you and a soulmate, you and your, your current partner, or you and your twin, that have generated this five of swords energy and it's and it's almost like challenging i'm like my attention is being drawn to this guy right here that's like yeah yeah come at me come yeah 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 like, yeah yeah you know what i mean like that kind of that kind of like crazy idea like fuck with me buddy see what happens you know that kind of thing um and i feel like a lot of that is coming from you cancer mainly because of this seven of cups and in reverse energy of like just all these emotions coming at you at the same time and not really being in control of your emotions and trying and, and you know and, and because of that is putting you in a combative and extremely defensive state like what I'm picking up from the five of swords here is a, is a is a destructively defensive state like almost like you're looking for a fight that's not cool like that's not going to benefit anybody in this situation okay so try to try to avoid that as much as you can next we have the three of wands in reverse with yeah, the Prince of or the Knight of Swords in reverse. In this deck, it's called the Prince of Swords. So here's that, here's that argument, um, here's that conflict, and the Three of Wands is saying um, what I'm getting from this combination is something went down, and now you don't know how to get yourself back out of it. Like you, this is the three. Yes, maybe I saw this. No, never mind. I was looking back at a different reading and I, I saw it correctly. But this is the Three of Wands here. But it's in reverse because it's like you know where you want to go, but if some of you are even questioning whether you want to go in that direction anymore. And it all has to do with whatever the Knight of Swords in reverse symbolizes. Like to me, this is symbolizing like something went down. Some shit went down. And now you're kind of questioning everything. And that is also why things have come to a standstill. Because both parties are kind of like, damn, do I really want to do this anymore? <laughs> but you need to have strength to pull yourself out of this. And you need to look at this as objectively as possible with the King of Swords here. This does, oh gosh, I'm getting back pains. This does have to do with, with a soulmate, period. All right, moving forward. Four of Pentacles. Uh, someone's holding on to something. With, ah, the King of Wands in reverse. Okay. This is a central message that I think all defined feminines need to hear right now. So I'm going to pull it out because this is what's being said. The Four of Pentacles is set with the, the King of Wands in reverse. And we have the counterparts here. We've got the Queen and the King of Wands. So this is definitely talking about um, a soulmate relationship. It's also definitely talking to twin flames here. Divine Feminine, it is time for you to let go of this... Uh, this this image of your divine masculine that you have. The reason why I'm gonna put you all, I'm gonna put y'all onto this. The reason why there have been so many of us twins that have been in this conflicting situation, have been on this twin flame journey and in separation for so very long. I remember one person recently posted a comment on one of my twin flame videos, one of our weekly discussions about how they've been in separation. They've been on this twin flame journey for thirty years. Thirty years. Well, why? Well. Because we're holding on to this negative view, this twisted view of our divine masculines. Now, don't get me wrong. We're not. We didn't. We were. We didn't get to this position by ourselves. The divine masculine has made 
some missteps that have helped us see them in the way that we currently do. But the only way that we're going to get anything different from them is if we see them differently. We let go, we drop, like I just dropped that four of pentacles, drop that view of how you see your divine masculine and that physical representation of him and see a different version of him or her. Okay. That is the only way you're going to get anything different. I've been saying this in all of the readings so far. You get what you think about. Your manifestations come from the thoughts you hold and the beliefs you hold and the emotions that you feel around it. So if you want something different, change your view. Change your, change your thought process. Change your beliefs. See your divine masculine instead of being the, quote, asshole you know him or her to be. See them as the person that they truly are. Loving, compassionate, honest, caring. You know what I mean? Like, loyal. If you want a different version of them, manifest a different version of them. How do you manifest? With your thoughts. Okay? Moving forward, we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah? So you feel trapped. It's understandable. With the Nine of Pentacles. Look, you do feel trapped because you are independent. And this is, <laughs> this is something that I've been kind of battling too. It's like, well, I know I'm independent and I don't need this. I don't need this person in my life, but... I really want them, but now I feel trapped because I don't really want anyone else because I know no one else is going to give me the connection that I feel with this person. But damn it, as it stands right now, this connection sucks. And I know I, ooh, whoa, whoa, the nine of pentacles is running away, guys. Why? Oof, running away. Why are you running away? What are you running away from? Your independence? But you are independent. Are you taking your independence too far? Are you looking at a situation being all high and mighty? I don't need you. Yeah. You're acting that way though because you feel trapped. You're not trapped, okay? Please understand that this, we got into this, we are here, we are in these situations because we agreed to it, okay? You can't sign a contract and then come down into the, into the world and be like, oh no, this is too hard, I don't want it anymore. Well, sorry boo, you signed up for it. And I know that's harsh. I know we don't like to hear that, that phrase a lot of the time, but you did sign up for this. You do want this. Yes, it's very difficult. And yes, you have the right to free will. You can go in any direction that you want. But ultimately, if you're really supposed to be on this path, you will be brought back. So do whatever it is you need to do. If you feel like you need to take a break and step back for a while, maybe pursue some other people, go out on some dates, have fun, blah, 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 whatever. Go ahead and do it. Have a good time. Do it with the understanding or the, the, the intentions of learning, healing, and growing so that you can come back to the path when you're ready, refreshed and anew. Okay? But also, if you are going to go out and, you know, start interacting with other people, talking to other people, just be, up as, be as upfront as you can. You don't have to lay all the cards on the table in the very beginning, although if you feel like you want to or you feel like you're called to, by all means, go ahead and do it, but don't play any mind games. Don't, don't play games, people, because that karma is not going to feel good when it comes back to you, okay? Coffee. All right. Next, we have the hanged man. All right, Cancer. Hmm. That just feels really heavy. Um, with all the gifted. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No wonder it feels so heavy. So this card, all the gifted. This is specific. This is a, a, a unique card to this deck. This is the Tarot Apocalypsis deck. Um, and this card talks about, this is a depiction of Pandora and her box. And so when, um, when it's in a positive light, it is being aware of your gifts, being willing to share your gifts with the others, um, uh, being confident in yourself and who you are, and showing that, shining that light for the greater good of all involved. When it's negatively aspected, it's being afraid of oneself, it's um, holding one gifts uh, away, out of, away from others to benefit from, even though those gifts were given to us so that others, so that we can give to others and bring light and love to their lives and their world and blah, blah, blah. 
So with the hanged man, it's this, these two are coupled here and this situation that you're going through, this, and, and this is actually why I was feeling like this um, standstill is actually a good thing for you, Cancer. Even though you may not feel like it's a good thing, even though you want to move forward, you just don't really know how. And this is what I was talking about earlier about, um, you know, wanting to, on a spiritual level, wanting to share something with the world, but not really knowing how to do it um, with the Ace of Wands in reverse. What this is clarifying is that you know you have a gift. You know you have something that you want to be bringing to the world. But you're in a hanged man state in the sense that you don't quite understand how that can be utilized in the world in the most effective way. So you're kind of suspending yourself. You're isolating yourself a little bit so that you can understand how to be of greater service, so that you can get a better perspective. And that's a good thing, ultimately. And for those of us on a twin flame journey... That is part of your mission here. So it's kind of a good thing. You know, there is a standstill. There is a bit of stagnation. But you have the opportunity to look things as a, look at things as objectively as possible with the King of Swords and say, okay, how can I change my perspective on my reality right now and make, make a change for the better? All right? I am picking up that there is some a lot of this resistance towards unleashing your true gifts in the world comes from trauma from childhood. I know that was my challenge before I started reading. Um, you know, people's perception of spirituality and even card readers isn't always the best. It does scare a lot of people, but it scares them because they're afraid of their own truth. It has nothing to do with me. So I had to come to terms with that before I could start serving my mission in this way, okay? So it's similar for you in that sense, Cancer. All right, finally, we have the Empress. Wow, wait a second. Okay, so we've got the King, Queen of Wands, and we got the Empress, okay, all right, cool. So that's fine, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So here, yeah, we're talking about this, this standstill, all right? You're trying to give birth to a new reality, Cancer, um, but you don't know quite how to do it yet. And this is absolutely talking about what all the gifted is speaking to because um, you want to bring forward this aspect of yourself that can benefit the world, that can nurture and love the world, but you just don't know how to do it yet. So that's why the Ace of Pentacles is reversed. It's not like you're losing out on something. It's just, it's strictly that you just don't know how to do it yet. All right. So use this, use this standstill, this pause, this timeout, um, whatever, however you want to refer to it. Use this wisely. Really go within. We don't have the hermit here. Um, so that's kind of actually, that's leading me to believe that this hanged man state is almost not beneficial here. It kind of feels like a bit of procrastination. And, and coupled with all the gifted, now I know all the gifted, is, or I'm sorry, the all gifted is upright, but I'm feeling a little bit of um, negative aspects here in that you're kind of afraid. You're afraid of your own power. You know, you're afraid of what you actually can bring to the world. And there's no reason to be afraid of that, Cancer. There really is no reason. You are very strong. You're very powerful. You're very intuitive. And I really feel like that is something that you need to be tapping into if not bringing forward to be of service to people, okay? Alrighty. Well, there it is, Cancer. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I will see you guys for the second, or for the first half of May. Yeah, I look forward to it. Much love to you, and I wish you the best in the next two weeks. Uh, bye bye